Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a fall Sunday reset. I really did need to get into all of these rooms and get everything cleaned up. I had some laundry to do as well. So if you needed just a little kick in the pants or pick me up or somebody just to ride along with you and get some of your house cleaned up on this fine Sunday or whichever day you're watching it, then this video is for you. I'm so happy that you're here. I wanna thank you in advance for spending the next 20 minutes or so with me. I know that, you know, things can be busy on the weekends, especially if you have kids, especially if you work. So I really do appreciate you guys giving me this little bit of your day. We're gonna go ahead and jump right on into the living room. I feel as though as most of my cleaning days are filled with the same exact messes. Do you guys feel that way? Now, I don't have kids at home anymore. It's just me, Reuben, and Bodie, and we just, like, we're creatures of habit. You know what I mean? So, we always have blankets in the same place. We always have clothes in the same place. We always have, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like things just kind of get repetitive and boring. So I always try to like switch things up. Normally I start in the kitchen because I feel like once you get the kitchen done, because that's usually like the biggest mess of my house, then everything else is pretty much smooth sailing. So I wanted to go ahead and start in the living room on this day. I also realized that the inside of this little TV stand desperately needs to be cleaned out and decluttered. So I'll be doing that here sometime soon. I also was thinking as I was cleaning in the living room that there is like no decor hardly or anything like that in here. And I know that I had mentioned that I didn't want to put anything up on the walls or anything like that until we got the floors done. And uh, you guys, this thing has been such a, a cluster, like seriously. Um, but I can't, like, I don't want to wait to put stuff up. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to put that mirror up on that entry wall right there because there's a reason for that until the floors go in. But, like, decor and stuff, I just kind of miss all my fall pumpkins and things like that. Now, I'm not, like, one of the, I'm okay, now don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not one of the YouTubers that start filming and, you know, decorating for fall when it's still August. I just, I can't do that because I feel like if I start putting stuff out that early, I'm going to be sick of looking at it by the time that fall really rolls around. So I don't know. I just can't do it. But I did want to get in here and look through my fall stuff and just kind of put a few things here or there. So that might be coming up here in the next near future if you're interested in that. Also, my front porch desperately needs to be cleaned. I had like massive amounts of spiders this year on my front porch. So there's a lot of webs, a lot of um, cobby goodness out there that needs to be scrubbed and cleaned up. So that is something that I know that I will be doing probably in the next couple of videos, but it just kind of, now don't get me wrong. I love how everything in here is painted. I love all the white. I love the starkness, the hospitalization of it all. Um, but it needs something. And I almost had Reuben talked into going to have pictures taken, but he didn't go through with it. He got busy with something quote unquote, but I will talk him into it. Mark my words. I will make him do it. So behind my work, we have like beautiful landscape and these big weeping willow trees and it's just beautiful back there, right? So Reuben doesn't like to go and have pictures taken because he feels awkward. I get it. A lot of people feel awkward doing stuff like that. And I was like, look, let's just go put on some decent clothes. We'll go back behind my work. Like it's up in a in a industrial park. Like nobody's back there. We'll go on a Sunday, you know, when nobody's there. And it's just a beautiful little spot like it's gorgeous back there and really calm and quiet and I said he's like well who's going to take the pictures I'm like I am he's like well how would you do that I'm like obviously have you just met me I can do anything um I will just go and take my camera set it up and we'll put it on video I'll have my iPhone out there as well we'll have that rolling and then you just take still shots of what you get you know what I mean like it all he has to do is give me 30 minutes that's it. Just 30 minutes. All I want is like two decent pictures and that wouldn't take long, but hopefully fingers crossed, I will get him talked into doing that sometime soon because I want to get some pictures made like bigger ones, like 11 by 17 or something like that and put in the living room because I feel like the living room really does need something. And I'm trying to steer away from all of the wordage pictures and things that I had on the walls. I think when I did the, um, video for the, when we painted everything, I think I kind of discussed all that, but I kind of want to get away from that stuff and get more like photos and, you know, landscape type things. Does that make sense? But other than that, I really don't have a lot of other ideas of any kind of decor that I want to do at this moment. Now I do have some things that I need to get ready for the baby when she gets here. So my thought process is she's not going to be here you know, 
all the time, which if she was, that's perfectly fine with me. But she has tons of grandparents and great grandparents and things like that, that I feel certain that we're going to be fighting for time <laughs> with her. But I think what I'm going to do is just get one of like the four in one play pins that has like the changing pad on the top, the little bassinet part, you know, things like that and put it, now my thought was I was gonna put it in the office, but I was in there the other day and I was kind of looking at space. And it doesn't matter how I turn things around or how I situate things or rearrange, there's just not, the room is just not in there. Does that make sense? So I'm thinking maybe I can figure out a way to just put the, um, the pack and play in the spare room I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there's probably a little bit more room in there that I can work with. I'm not really quite sure. I'll have to figure that out. But when I do, I will definitely show you guys that. And I don't think I'm going to go so far as to do like a whole entire nursery type thing, just to have a little space for her and some uh, space for her diapers and clothes and, you know, toys and things like that. I do have a ways to go before I have a whole bunch of toys all over the house, but hadn't watched. It's not going to be long. She is already so extremely spoiled. It's so, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. If somebody would have told me that I was going to have this much fun, I would have been telling the, the boys to have me a grandchild sooner. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm playing. I wouldn't have, I would not have done that, but, um, we're just so excited. And I knew that I wanted to desperately get this house cleaned up on the Sunday because my next week is going to be so extremely busy. So the baby shower is this coming Saturday and I've got so much stuff left still to do to get ready for that. I've got food I've got to get. We need to prep all that stuff. I've got to get the cake and the cupcakes and all that stuff ordered. Um, I'm just so excited. I've already gotten all the, you know, RSVPs back and I'm just, I don't know. I'm just excited for both of them because this is just a huge thing and I cannot wait to celebrate with everybody. So probably what I'm going to do is like when I go, I'm probably going to go to Aldi because there's a lot of things that I want to get like for a charcut board um, and dips and things like that. And that is like the best place to get that stuff. So I'm probably going to do, no, I'm probably going to do a whole shop with me for that. And I will have that here on this channel. And I'm probably also going to do a decorate video on this channel. Like when I do all the decor and stuff like that, um, for the baby shower. But when I do like the whole baby shower video, that's probably going to be on the vlog channel. So if you want to see that, make sure that you are, um, subscribed over there. That way, you know, you can be notified when that gets uploaded, but I'm so daggone excited. You guys, all the decor that I've got, it's like a really beautiful, gold and tan and mauve and peachy pinky boho type feel i do have like this whole little um balloon arch that i have to do and i'm terrified but then again i can do anything that's just what i keep telling myself they're just balloons i don't know why i'm afraid of it but we're going to get it done and i think it's just everything's going to be so beautiful and as far as right now the weather is supposed to be gorgeous like 73 and sunny you couldn't ask for anything better than that so fingers crossed it stays that way but we are actually finally experiencing some beautiful fall weather here in virginia and speaking of fall these are a couple of the scents that i have been putting in my little warmers throughout the house they just smell so yummy um, but what's not yummy is these daggone dishwasher pods that I still have not figured out what to do with. I just don't want to throw them away. Does that, I don't know. I might take them to work and see if somebody there wants them. I don't know. I just can't throw stuff like that away for some reason. Um, but yeah, anyway, the weather here has been phenomenal. It's been gorgeous. We have had some rain, but we desperately needed it. Um, anybody that's going through all of those hurricanes and things right now, my heart goes out to you because I just don't know what I would do. Like natural disasters freak me the heck out. I would probably have a heart attack before anything of the natural disaster would have done to me physically. Does that make sense? Like I just get so worked up over things that I cannot control, especially weather wise. Like my anxiety, I, we, we've talked about my anxiety about things like this before. Um, it just builds up and builds up and builds up. Like I can't even ride in a car with somebody driving if it's raining because then the thought process of my brain is just like, okay, well, even if they're driving good, then what if somebody else isn't driving good and they're going too fast and they hydroplane and then they hit us. And it's just, it's just something that is never ending and it drives me insane. And I desperately wish that my brain did not do this to me, but I know that I'm not the only one. I'm, I'm still trying to like 
take things slow and do like some breathing techniques and things like that and trying to kind of calm myself down when I get into situations like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but this is life and these are things that we just have to go through and work through ourselves. But again, cleaning and doing stuff like this is kind of one way that it gets my mind off of things. So like this week, I'm just really nervous about this baby shower. I just want everybody to have a good time and enjoy themselves and I feel like that this shower is going to be a reflection of me because I'm throwing it and then I want it to be good for Logan and I want him to have a good experience because this is his first baby and I want him to enjoy himself and have something really nice to look back on and you know show Milo when she's older that you know here are the pictures here's the videos you know everybody was here to celebrate you and we were all so happy for you to be coming and you know what I'm saying it's I don't know I don't know if it's just like a, a motherly thing or or what but I just want everything to go off without a hitch and I, fingers crossed it happens so everybody send out your good vibes your prayers all your mojo all that stuff my way um but yeah also dancing doesn't hurt at all you guys know how it is over here which is a great segue if this is your first video that you are catching of mine welcome thank you so much for being here today my name is mandy i am a what i don't know when i say middle age i'm 47 um and i just really put out videos of realistic real life homemaking cleaning decluttering all that good stuff everything home um i have an incredibly good time while i do it life is too short um to try to be somebody you're not so you know show the people show the world who you are it just it doesn't matter you know if somebody's gonna like you they're gonna like you for you not who you are trying to be which has taken me a long time in my life to try to figure out but yeah, we have a ton of fun over here. I also have a little vlog channel that I'm trying to get up and uh, moving. I, I don't get a lot over there because I feel like sometimes my life is just boring. I was talking to um, another YouTuber, a friend of mine, Amanda, and I was like, I don't know, like, what do I film? I just, I get up, I go to work every day, I come home and I film cleaning videos and then I edit and I go to sleep and I do the same thing over and over again. Um, I just feel like sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, my life is just boring and y'all wouldn't want to see that, but I don't know. On the weekends, we kind of do fun stuff. Sometimes it's not things I could put on YouTube, but <laughs> we have a good time. But anyway, um, you know, with the grandbaby coming, it's just, it's going to be so much more fun and I, I'm sure that I'll have a lot more things to film and, um, and things like that to share with you guys. But I would love for you to stick around and be a part of this crazy family. I also have an Instagram that is really fun. I, I really like to have fun over on Instagram. I love to do reels. Now, a lot of a lot of people say, or I mean people, I mean um, like YouTube gurus and things like that. They say that you should keep all of your social media like in the same niche. You know what I mean? But you know, cleaning my house is just not the the one thing about me. Like there are so many other things about me, you know, like to be honest with you, I think I'm hilarious. I'm a hoot. And if I'm the only one that thinks that, then that's all that matters. But I like to share my craziness with people. It runs in my family. My dad is, he's crazy. Um, my cousins, they're, they're crazy too. Uh, and we just have a lot of fun and I like to make people laugh. So Instagram is kind of where I can do that. And I also have a little Facebook page. It's Mandy Flores Cleaning. I think I have that linked in the description. I'm not sure, but the Instagram is, is definitely linked in there. I also have a true crime podcast with my best gal, Rosa. That's also linked in the description if you're interested in true crime. But, you know, I have a lot of fun and um, I just, I like to share it with people. So I, I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you sharing this part of my day and my life. It means so much to me. I really can't tell you how much that y'all support means to me. It, it really does humble a person. You know what I'm saying? So I've now realized that I have talked through 15 minutes of this video and there's only 10 minutes left. My, I did not have that intention. I'm sorry. Um, but I do know that some of you guys really enjoy the talking through the video. So it looks like I'm going to be talking through the rest of this video. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, this, this week is just going to be incredibly busy. I am taking Friday off just so I can get everything kind of situated and ready because the baby shower is at one o'clock on Saturday and I don't want to be stressed out before then. You know what I mean? I just want to get up, get ready, go over there and wait for the party to start. So it's going we're going to have it at mom's only because she's got much more room 
Um, if you've seen videos that I've done at my mom's house, you kind of know her setup. It's just more open and airy and there's a lot more space. And she's also got a beautiful outdoor space, so we can have that too. Again, fingers crossed if the weather really wants to cooperate, that would be great. Um, Logan, my son that's having the baby, he is, he will be 26 this year. So his birthday's in October and we always had his birthdays outside, which was incredible because as long as I can remember from the time he was like three or four up until the time he was like, I don't know, 12, 13, we had like bounce houses and stuff like that outside. And we always just had such an incredible time and the weather has always cooperated. So I'm hoping that it does the same this year. Um, otherwise, I'm I'm going to be sad because I don't want it to be raining at the baby shower. But anyway, I'm going to take that Friday and I'm going to get everything done. I'm probably going to go, I don't know, maybe Thursday, Wednesday and get all of the food supplies and get all of that stuff prepped and things like that. I think we're just going to go with like a light luncheon type menu. We're going to do like some little chicken croissant sandwiches. We're going to have the little charcuterie board. We're going to have fruit. I think we're going to do, I was thinking about doing like a, um, my mom actually brought up this idea, which I thought was so cute, but like a, a little, uh, apple dipping station. Do you know what I mean? Like have a little bit of fudge and a little bit of caramel and then like all the fixins on the side and then just like cut apples up in little pieces where, you know, am I, am I explaining this right? I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but it's like, you know, you can make your own little apple dippers with all the little fixins. There are going to be some, a handful of kids there. Um, so I figured I would do something, you know, a little fun and easy like that. Oh my gosh. I just remembered. I also need to go out and get, um, gifts for the games. I've got like four or five games that we're playing. We're going to do, now my cousin said she'll come if we don't do the guess what's in the diaper game, which is like when you put like a piece of candy bar in a diaper and melt it. And then you have to figure out what kind of candy bar it is. That just really turns her. And, and I was like, no girl, I'm not going to do that. So I think we're going to do, um, I've got what's in your purse. I've got, uh, it's, it, oh, this one's really fun. It's like, guess the name of the, of the song title, but all of the titles have the word baby in it. That's really fun. I have another one that's uh, like a baby scramble, like all the words are scrambled up, but it, they all have to do with baby. There's a few other games that I've got too. It's just going to be really fun and I need to get prizes for those. I do have thank you gifts like, you know, for coming. Um, I've got that, but I do need to go and, and grab a handful of gifts. I think, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe people that are coming to the shower might watch this, so I don't want to give everything away, but um, I was thinking Bath and Body Works has you know, really good candles for fall right now. Who doesn't love a good candle? So I might grab a couple of those and a couple other things. I, I probably will find something at Aldi. They have the cutest little section of like gifts and home stuff. And, um, I think I saw where they had those little, the pumpkin pots, like the little ceramic pumpkin pots. Those are stinking adorable. Now that I think about it, if they do have those, that would be cute for like the the apple dipper station, maybe? I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Hopefully my Aldi is not cleared out of all that stuff because nine times out of 10, my Aldi and my Target is cleaned out of all the good stuff that I see everybody else finding. Um, but fingers crossed again that they have some good stuff. So now I'm in here uh, in the bedroom and I'm cleaning up this. I, I just wanted to point this out because if you know, you know, I'm I wasn't going to clean off the dresser, but it was driving me insane. So I kind of cleaned it and look what's up there. Look, socks. Y'all, I wanted to strangle him. Anyway, so I just shoved him in his, in his drawer <laughs> and I was done with it, but I just moved everything around that, that same, that same daggone stack of shirts has been on the end of that dresser for six months. I don't know what he's doing with them. I don't really care. He just needs to put them somewhere else because I'm tired of looking at them. But I'm not going to be that person today. It's Sunday. Again, remember what I said about Sundays. Um, but everything did need to be dusted. Oh, also, the other day I was able to like open up my windows and turn my AC off. It was amazing. But that quickly went away because the next day it was, again, like hotter than Hades. So, um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're finally going to be getting to that fall weather and I cannot wait. You guys are going to have to let me know what your weather's like, where you are right now, because I feel like the summer has just, 
extended itself tremendously. I feel like every single year, it just stays hotter and hotter, longer and longer. Don't get me wrong, I love summer, but I'm, I'm also menopausal, and I'm old, and I'm fat, <laughs> and I get hot and sweaty, and I don't need it. <laughs> so, um, so I need some cool breezes and some nights where I can open up my windows to sleep because that's, that's where it's at right there. And also with fall, that comes like all of the comfy clothes. I cannot wait to start wearing my long sleeve shirts and my sweatshirts and my sweaters again. Um, lounge around the house in my sweatpants as I'm already starting to do. I was, I was really good this summer with, you know, wearing shorts. Again, if you've been here for, you know, any length of time, you know my deal with shorts. But I was really good this year. This summer was really good for me. I just, I did not care. And I was so much happier and so much cooler. I wasn't like miserably hot everywhere that I went. So again, if there's something that you're just holding yourself back from, just don't. Do do what you want to do. Make yourself happy because you're honestly the only one that can do that. You know what else makes me happy? This little face right here. He just needed to be in my room and I had to sneak up on him because I thought he was asleep, but he wasn't. He was just, <laughs> he was just chilling. He just wants to be near me and that just makes my heart happy. So, so happy. Um, but yeah, I didn't have too much laundry to get done. I did throw some in the washer earlier, and that is currently in the dryer, um, or currently in the video in the dryer. But this was that other basket from the last video that I said had been sitting there for a while and needed to be folded. So I finally got that folded. And as of right now, as of right this second, I do not have one stitch of dirty clothes in my house for me now. That story is different for Reuben, and it's different like for the kitchen stuff, like my kitchen towels, my cleaning rags, and all that stuff. But as far as my clothes go, not one stitch. Not one stitch dirty in my house, and I'm so proud of myself. That's probably only going to last throughout the rest of the day, but you know what? That's fine. It's a win-win in my book. So it's done. I have nothing else left. Um, but also as I was cleaning, Reuben was at the grocery store and as I, when I got finished cleaning, I was still waiting for him to get back. So I took one of those everything showers. You girls know what I'm talking about. The everything shower is everything to me. And Sundays is really the only time that I can do that because for me to get up and get to work on time in the morning is, um, you know, a feat in itself. There is no way on God's green earth that I, I would have time to do that stuff in the mornings during the week. So everything gets shaved. Uh, I get to do like my purple shampoo to kind of, um, you know, lighten my hair. I get to do a hair mask. All those things take time, right? I get all the body oils and all the lotions and all the, the um, face stuff done. It's just so great. And so I got to do that. And um, when he got home, we just kind of put all the groceries away. We did end up making dinner, which I did film because I think I want to start doing the what's for dinner videos again. I did some that did really, really well. They were uh, what's for dinner, like dinner for two, because it's really just me and Reuben. But sometimes we make, you know, more than we both need because his mom is here. And if she decides that she wants to eat, we have plenty for that. If we want to save some for lunches the next day, we have plenty for that. So I think I'm going to start doing those again. I did film the dinner that we made for this night. So that will be in one of those videos. But I'm really excited for, you know, for those to come back because I feel like you guys enjoy those a lot. Um, yeah, and then we had a lot of football to watch the rest of the day. So the house was clean, the laundry was done, the food was made, and it was just, it was great. It was a great fall Sunday reset for me because everything is done and now I can relax and just get ready for the week. And um, I desperately need to have my mind straight for the rest of the week. I think I'm probably putting too much pressure on myself than needs to be because I'm sure everything's going to be fine everything's going to be fine. A funny quick story. Um, when I had Logan, my first baby, and my mom had my baby shower, she just kept having these nightmares that we were going to show up. She actually had it in a really, really beautiful hotel down here where I live, and she had these nightmares that she showed up to the hotel and walked up to the, the front desk and said, hey, we're here for, you know, the baby shower, and they're like, we don't have a reservation for you, and it happened y'all it literally happened so we ended up getting like the major master ballroom because that's the only thing that they had available so i had logan's baby shower in this huge ballroom it was beautiful and amazing but it started out kind of shaky because her nightmare came true but 
I think everything's going to be fine. And I hope you guys come back to watch all of that stuff. And I want to say thank you again for being here today. But that's all I've got. I love you and I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.